This video shows the relative boot speeds of a Dell Optiplex 7010 with a hard drive, a SATA SSD and an NVMe solid state drive. I freshly installed Windows 10 on the hard drive, let the updates run and then installed a bunch of applications and put some in the startup folder. Um, in the startup folder there is Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Paint.net, Visual Studio Code and WordPad. For the NVMe PCI solid state drive, there is a Clover USB stick in the back, which helps it to boot from the NVMe drive because it doesn't support it natively. The SATA SSD is a SATA drive, so that can boot natively on the machine. Um, as you can see, the NVMe PCI E solid state drive has already finished booting and opened every application. The SATA SSD doesn't come in far behind and it is about to finish in a few moments. Um, the hard drive will come as no surprise, is by far the slowest and hasn't even got round to opening any applications yet. So if you are thinking of upgrading a Optiplex 7010, um, I probably would recommend just a SATA solid state drive. That's the easiest upgrade and doesn't require any USB in the back. But depending on what you are using it for, you might want to go for a NVMe drive. The nice thing about the NVMe actually was that um, it was very low cost. I used a Western Digital Blue drive in there on a uh, cheap little adapter. Um, and so, you know, you get the best performance for not a lot of money. Um, the hard drive system is now thinking about getting towards the end. What this video doesn't reflect is actually how responsive the systems were once they had booted. The hard drive system was sluggish, really sluggish, after it opened just a few applications. And the SATA SSD and the NVMe system were both really responsive. So, um, you know, I hope this video is helpful to you. I'll um, link to the kit I used in the blog post, which you will find in the description of this video. Cheers.